We begin tonight with the realities of a difficult job. It's estimated that 30% of first responders develop behavioral health conditions, including depression and PTSD. News 19's Crystal Flintrup shares how traumatic calls can impact local responders and how they navigate those situations. Every day, first responders receive calls to assist those in their communities. From fires to rescues in the bluffs or the river or responding to calls of distress, it can be hard to prepare for an incident. And the fear of the unknown can affect first responders. You never know when you're getting a call or when you stop in a car uh, for sure what's going on, who you're going to encounter. And, you know, you get the call and as you're responding, red lights and siren, it's usually playing through your mind, you know, what do I need to do? Keep myself safe. Dealing with these stressful situations can be traumatic. From mass casualty events, suicide, violent acts, and any call involving children, it can heavily weigh on a first responder. Like you think, maybe I could have done this or maybe I could have done that. Um, you start to maybe get anxious about it or you start to feel like you didn't do enough. You know, all those things start to pile on you. And then it's like, Okay, I'm going to put that aside and now I got to do it again. A variety of resources are offered to first responders to help them navigate these situations. And in the event of a traumatic call, every person who responds meets together for a critical incident stress debriefing. Brings in everybody's perspective, what they saw. Um, they might have saw something that you missed that you were kind of replaying in your mind that, that you were fixated on. but something else actually happened and they can kind of fill in those gaps. And despite the challenges and hardships of the job, they all say being able to help just one person makes it worth it. There's this little bit of tragedy, you know, or heartache or all those type things, um, but there's so much more on the other side of things that we've done really good. Those lives that we've saved, the hands that we've held, you know, the hearts that we've mended, all that along the way that I think make it more worth it. In Winona, I'm Crystal Flintrop, News 19. Now Derek Ritter says the city of Winona is working to provide more resiliency training to their first responders that would allow them to debrief in alternative ways, ultimately to help reduce stress and anxiety.